Hey YouTube, I'm just doing a little test. Here's my wind, just my little 250 watt. Wind speeds are from anywhere from 5 to about 13, 14. I'll go out to the garage now to look at the meters. I'm just goofing around testing. But I got it going right to the grid tie right now. not doing a whole lot. The draw of the wind GTI is like 1.4 so 1.4 watts. It's just a little wind turbine but it's kind of fun watching. I can show you how I have this is the wind meter the batteries at 12.7 I'm gonna switch it right now it's the number two on the switch goes to the directly to the grid tie so what I'm gonna do is switch it over to the battery that was at 12.7 now you can see we can watch it for a little bit, but it was 12.7. It should start charging the battery up a little bit, depending on the wind. It's been the wind's been kind of inconsistent. It's been going up and down. Must not be blowing right now. I'll do an, I'm gonna do another test here with this Missouri wind and solar. If I push this button here on the controller, it's kind of a test and it'll divert. If the voltage gets too high in the battery, it'll divert the wind over to this wind. GTI right here so I'm gonna push the button and do a test then we can watch this meter and see what the winds actually putting in the volts and the amps because right now it's clamped to the battery okay here we go there's the divert and the winds not doing anything at this moment of course, right when I decide to do the video, there it goes. It's putting in like 9 to 10, 10 watts. And the amps, anywhere from 15, 6 amps. Ten volts, eleven volts, zero amp, three amps, one amp, thirteen amps. Two amps, two amps. It's kind of neat to watch. So this wind is going right into the grid tie right now. There, it just reset. Now it's clamped back to the battery. Now the 
way I think this is supposed to work. I haven't had enough wind yet to test it out, but if the power goes out on this wind GTI, then I have this fault term terminals hooked up to these resistors right here. I switch this over to back to grid tie. Say the grid goes out, unplug this. Now hopefully the current's going in and to these resistors. I can't feel them getting warm because there's hardly enough power from that little turbine to do anything. I need to get like 20 mile an hour winds to see if that works. I'll plug this back in. It's on. Power's going to the grid tie right now. Let's switch back to battery. It's at 12.6. I did have it up to like 13.5 just with the wind charging the battery. The wind must have died down a little because usually it jumps right back up. See what's going on. I'll push the test button. Uh, There she goes. Hmm. The wind must not be blowing. Anyway, I won't bore you. Oh, there it goes. It's like seven, eight volts. Eleven volts, zero amps. Back to the battery. There it's jumping up a little, charging the battery. Let's go back out, look at the windmill, see if it's even, or the turbine, see if it's even doing anything. It was blowing a little harder earlier. I need to get one of those wind weather stations. That's gone, but the wind's definitely died down a bit. Ooh, there it goes.
back to the garage. Meters at 12.6. It's not doing a whole lot. I'm going to upgrade to maybe a 400 win max sometime. But right now I'm just testing and fooling around. Thanks, YouTube.